Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 5 to the power n plus 3 to the power n is equal to 152. We need to find all possible values of n, where n is a positive integer. Now, we can write this 5 to the power n as 5 to the power n whole to the power 1 plus we can write this 3 to the power n as 3 to the power n whole to the power 1 is equal to 152. Now this one and this one, this one is equal to 1 over 3 times 3. So we replace this one and this one with 1 over 3 times 3 like this 5 to the power n whole to the power 1 over 3 times 3 plus 3 to the power n whole to the power 1 over 3 times 3 is equal to 152. Now according to this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power n with this 1 over 3 and this power n with this 1 over 3. Like this 5 to the power n times 1 over 3 n over 3 whole to the power this power 3 plus 3 to the power n times 1 over 3 n over 3 whole to the power this power 3 is equal to 152. Now we suppose that let 5 to the power n over 3 is equal to x and 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to y and we substitute x and y in this equation then this equation becomes x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 152. Now according to algebraic identity this x cubed plus y cubed can be factorized as x plus y times x squared minus x y plus y squared is equal to 152. Now we have two factors at left side and because this x and y this x and y are positive integers so this expression x plus y is smaller than this expression x squared minus xy plus y squared. So this uh, 152 can be factorized as 1 times 152, 2 times 76 and 4 times 38 and 8 times 19. So we have four cases. This is case 1, this is case 2, this is case 3 and this is case 4. First we solve this case 1, 1 time 152. In case 1, we write this expression x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to this uh, 1 time 152 1 time 152 now we write this uh, x plus y equal to this one and this uh, x squared minus xy plus y squared equal to this uh, 152 like this x plus y is equal to 1 and uh, x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to 152. 
Now from this equation we take a square of both sides x plus y squared is equal to 1 squared this x plus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 1 squared is 1 now we subtract this equation from this equation so we write this equation here x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 1 and we subtract this equation from this equation now because we are subtracting this plus becomes negative this plus becomes negative this plus becomes negative and this positive x squared will be cancelled this negative x squared and this positive y squared will be cancelled with this negative y squared and this negative 1xy minus 2xy minus 3xy is equal to 152 minus 1 151 and this implies xy is equal to negative 151 over 3 now because of this x and y x and y are positive integers so product of two positive integers cannot be negative so no solution can be found from here we reject this one and from here we notice that when square of first factor for example this first factor 1 1 squared is less than this second factor 152 then xy will be negative will be less than 0 so no solution can be found from this case now we check this second case we check the square of these two square of 2 is less than this second factor 76 so here xy will be negative will be less than 0 so no solution can be found from here now we check this third case we check the square of this 4 square of 4 is less than this second factor 38 so xy will be negative no solution can be found from this case now we check this fourth case 8 squared square of 8 is greater than this second factor 19 so xy will be greater than 0 so now we solve this case for 8 times 19 in case 4 we write this expression x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared equal to this 8 times 19 8 times 19 now from here we write this x plus y equal to this 8 and this x squared minus xy plus y squared equal to this 19 like this x plus y is equal to 8 and x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to 19 and from this equation we take a square of both sides x plus y squared is equal to 8 squared now this x plus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to this 8 squared is equal to 64 now we subtract this equation from this equation so we write this equation here x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 64 and we subtract 
these equations and because we are subtracting this plus becomes minus this plus becomes minus and this plus becomes minus this uh, positive x squared will be cancelled with this negative x squared and this uh, positive y squared will be cancelled with this uh, negative y squared and negative 1xy minus 2xy minus 3xy is equal to 19 minus 64 negative 45 and this implies xy is equal to 15 now from this equation x plus y is equal to 8 x plus y is equal to 8 we find the value of y we move this x to the right side then y is equal to 8 minus x now this value of y 8 minus x we put in this equation x times value of y 8 minus x is equal to 15 we multiply this x by 8 8 x and x times this negative x negative x squared is equal to 15 now we move this 15 to the left side we write this negative x squared first negative x squared we write this plus 8x plus 8x and this 15 becomes negative 15 at left side is equal to 0 and because here we have a negative x squared so to make this positive we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1 then this equation becomes negative 1 times negative x squared positive x squared and negative 1 time plus 8x negative 8x and negative 1 time negative 15 plus 15 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable x squared we split this negative 8x as we split this negative 8x as negative 3x minus 5x plus 15 is equal to 0 now from these two terms x squared minus 3x we can factor out x x as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 3 and from these two terms negative 5x plus 15 we can factor out negative 5 negative 5 as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 3 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression x minus 3 x minus 3 is a common factor so we factor out this x minus 3 x minus 3 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this x and this minus 5 in bracket left x minus 5 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 5 is equal to 0 from here x is equal to 3 and from here x is equal to 5 so we get two values of x from here and from this equation y is equal to 8 minus x we can find the values of y when x is equal to 3 then y is equal to 8 minus 3 y is equal to 5 so when x is equal to 3 y is equal to 5 and when x is equal to 5 when x is equal to 5 y is equal to 8 minus 5 and y is equal to 3 so when x is equal to 5 y is equal to 3 
so we get uh, two pairs of y x comma y is equal to 3 comma 5 and x comma y is equal to 5 comma 3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 5 to the power n over 3 is equal to x and 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to y we have supposed that 5 to the power n over 3 is equal to x and 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to y first in these equations we put the value of x3 and value of y5 5. 5 to the power n over 3 is equal to value of x is 3 and 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to value of y is 5 now you can see that at left side we have base 5 and at right side we have base 3 and here at left side we have base 3 and right side we have base 5 so due to different bases due to different bases no integer solutions can be found from here now in these equations we put the value of x5 and value of y3 5 to the power n over 3 is equal to value of x is 5 and 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to value of y is 3 now you can see that at left side we have base 5 and at right side we have base 5 and this 5 has power 1 here and from here at left side we have base 3 and at right side we have base 3 and this 3 has power 1 here so from here we write this n over 3 equal to this one n over 3 is equal to 1 and from here we write this n over 3 equal to this one n over 3 is equal to 1 so from these both equations n is equal to 3 this is the final value of n this is the final answer of this equation now let's verify this value of n let's verify this value of n by putting this in the original equation the original equation is 5 to the power n plus 3 to the power n is equal to 152 5 to the power value of n is 3 plus 3 to the power value of n is 3 is equal to 152 and 5 cubed is 125 plus 3 cubed is 27 is equal to 152 and 152 plus 27 152 is equal to 152 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so this value of n 3 is correct 